and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, we are doing a behind the scenes video for the new series on this Look channel. Look at him. <laughs> for the new series on this channel, Life's a Piece of Cake. So as you can see, uh, my sister is here and our dog, Leo. Leo just turned one recently and we're very happy about it. <laughs> Today we're doing a behind the scenes video of our new series, Life's a Piece of Cake. And as I previously mentioned at some point, I think, uh, this series has been 100% collaborative between Maddie and I, mm -hmm. b b b between Madison and I. She did some of the animation, I did some of the animation, she came up with some of the characters, I came up with some of the characters. Yeah. So it was 100% collaborative, we, we, we just came up with this whole thing together, and we're very excited about it and very proud of it. And as you're about to see, there's a lot of details in it. The sets were more detailed than I think we've ever done before. We came up with all new characters, all the main characters of this series are customs. So, it's a lot, and um, this video is going to be long, like my last behind the scenes video. And speaking of which, I just wanted to thank you guys, because you really liked that video, and I just really appreciate your support, and you guys, <laughs> you can resist. You guys have been requesting another one, so here it is. So, what you're about to see is, first, you're going to see this cringy intro, and then you're going to see... <laughs> True. <laughs> We're going to talk about the characters, we're going to show the character designs, our original sketches, we're going to talk about what the rerouting hair is and all of that, and then I'm going to talk about the sets, the scripting, and there's going to be some time-lapse footage of us actually filming. Um, so yes, it's going to be a journey, it's going to be fun, um, grab a snack, get comfortable, um, and I hope you enjoy this video, and we will see you all at the end of the video. <laughs> That's him talking, he said that. <laughs> he talks. Bye, bye everybody. Okay guys, so when we were working on the characters, we had a lot of sketches for each character. And to organize them, I bought this scrapbook. And as you can see here, we have each character sketch in it. This is Red's original character sketch. Um, it has his hair, his personality, his age, how he was going to be made, and a little piece of fabric that was going to be kind of their style. Okay guys, so onto the characters. The first one is Red, the first color in the rainbow. Um, his name is Redford, and of course we call him Red for short. Of course Red wears a lot of reds. Uh, most of the characters wear casual colors along with like neutral colors along with their main color. Here he is in all red and denim. Um, he loves plaid, that's kind of his, his thing. Um, so Red is 16 years old. Um, his hair is... I'm gonna be honest, I can't remember the actual name, but I'll put it right here. Red's outfit is a Ken fashion pack. Uh, I saw the red plaid and I was like, yes, this is this is perfect. Um, he wears a white knit cap, as you can see, and he's obsessed with movies. That's kind of his personality. He's pretty sarcastic and he spends most of his time with Ricky. Okay guys, so now I will be doing Paige and Sunny. And the reason I'm doing them together, if you didn't already know this, they are actually twins. D despite their uh, opposite personalities, they are actually twins. When she is more moody and sassy, she is more happy and sweet. So she has pumpkin spice hair from dollyhair.com, I believe. And she has this cute little orange top on and these cute little monster high pants. Her body type is back to school blondie locks from the wave, I believe, last the back to school last year. She actually has her original hair um, that I used paint to ombre. This was a failed attempt at doing it with Sharpie, so don't don't ever focus on that. <laughs> um, she just has this 1970s top, um, and that's pretty much it. And then she has this little <laughs> scrunchie around her waist. Don't tell, it's not that. It's nothing special, it's literally just like a, some weird scrunchie. Um, and her body type is the, I believe, um, the second wave re-release original Apple. Okay guys, so next up is Ricky, who I created the sketch for, but Madison kind of created most of the personality. Um, his name is Ricky, um, Ricky Thompson, because you know that's their last name. Um, his personality, he's kind of um, a little bit mischievous. I mean, he's not quite as mischievous as, say, uh, Red or, like, Chad, um, the other character on our channel. Um, but he is, he does get into some weird schemes later on in the show. And he listens to what Red says, and if Red says, you know, we should ask for something in return, like he does. Um, 
so yeah, he's kind of he's kind of a little bit of a um, quiet kid. But he's, he's kind of like in training with Red. He's yeah, he's kind of in training. He's he's a little mischievous though, and he's gonna get into some weird schemes later on. He's about like I'd say he's like eight to ten. We haven't like come up with an exact age. He's probably ten. I'd, yeah, 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 I'd, I'd say, say ten. He's probably ten. Um, his body is a uh, um, I guess they're called Chelsea's now. I was gonna call him a Kelly. Uh, is the Chelsea Clubhouse camping fun boy with fishing pole. <laughs> uh, you can find him on Amazon. <laughs> um, and his hair is actually painted, as you can probably tell. Put together some paints to get this kind of color of green, which we liked. And he's got a little bit of yellow highlights in there. He has a old Kelly top as his uh, shirt. And he's wearing, I think those are the original pants. Yeah, the, yeah with. those are the pants he came um, So yeah, there's, there's Ricky. I also painted his eyes brown. I think he's the only one in the family with brown eyes, but I really thought he looked really cute with brown eyes. I think their father, the mother, the mother has brown eyes. You guys will be introduced to the mother and father later on. Um, but he has brown eyes, and I actually did them the same way I did my custom doll of myself. Um, there'll be a link to that somewhere at the end of the video. Um, but I just painted his eyes brown using a uh, marker. So normally my sister would have done Harmony because uh, Harmony was my sister's first custom, so it meant a lot to her. Um, but because she wanted to do Ricky because of his fun, cute little personality, I decided to step in and do uh, and do Harmony. Her name is obviously Harmony, and she is about 17. Um, her body um, is just the first wave apple, and her uh, her hair type is actually a mixture, I'll put it on the screen, uh, a mixture of a bunch of hair from dollyhair.com because you can mix different types of hair. And here, I'll bring it a little closer. And she also has a very creative, fun, and at some times mature personality. <laughs> Same. <laughs> Okay guys, so last but not least, we have Violet, who is the oldest in the family. She is actually 19 years old. Um, her personality, she's like super, super sweet. And we kind of wanted to have this backstory that like, when she was in high school, like all the guys really liked her. And she was like this, like she's just really popular. Like she's like the nice one in the family. She probably got really good grades. We wanted her to be like kind of perfect. So that the fact that she's dating an alien is a little bit off. Um, her body is a re-release Raven. I think I did a review of her on my Instagram story, the original doll. Um, she was the one with the bow and arrow, if you guys have ever seen that. Um, I'll insert a picture or something. Her hair is a little bit of Mulberry Crush, uh, Wisteria, and something else from dollyhair.com. <laughs> something else. <laughs> Just something else. Okay guys, so here you have the Thompson family, and as I said, they do form a rainbow. Um, so yeah, that's it for characters. Yeah. Um, we're gonna move on to sets now. Yeah. Okay guys, so next I want to talk to you guys about the sets. My sister and I put a lot of time into these sets and I'm really excited to show you all the details up close. Okay guys, so here is the girl's bedroom without all the beds and toys and whatever. As you can see, there is a bay window here, which we made out of popsicle sticks and wood and we covered them in white paint and we made little windows and it took forever, <laughs> there was a lot of hot glue. Um, we added these white curtains like this. As you can see right here, there's a little seat where the girls can sit and on the back it's supported so that it's a 3D and the girls can actually sit in there as you guys have seen in the first episode. The main walls are just light blue with white polka dots and then the accent walls have this really cool design like oranges and greens and all kinds of stuff. Um, this show is all about color, and there's just so much color to take in, so I thought that the girls' room should be super colorful so it matches kind of all of their personalities. Uh, here's what it looks like with one of the beds. They just fit in here like this, and they are bunk beds. This is Paige's, and this is Harmony's. And on the side here, there's a little ladder made out of popsicle sticks, um, and they have little pillows, and each of their bedding um, matches their color scheme. Um, these characters are super color-coded, as I mentioned earlier. So uh, Harmony has a lot of blue, and Paige has a lot of orange, and here they are. Sunny and Violet's bed goes over there. And this is what the set looks like with uh, Violet's bed and Sunny's bed. She has a lot of yellow, obviously, because she's her name's Sunny and she's always yellow. And Violet has a lot of purple, pinks, and a lot of little, like, 
bakery themed squishy slash pillows. <laughs> Next up, I'm gonna show you the entryway living room slash dining room. So one of the big things that we wanted to do with these sets was to make them super 3D. Um, as you guys know from watching the first episode, if you've seen it, um, the main living room set has three doorways. One with the door to go to the outside, one for the girls room, and one for the boys room. And then to make these two sets, the living room and the bedroom, I simply take the entryway set and place it right in front of the other side. Like that. <laughs> Over on this wall you see a family portrait with all of the kids and over on this wall you see a picture of Paige and Sunny. The walls in the entry room slash living room slash dining room are a green polka dot and then this really cool, it's kind of got every color in the family. It's got yellow, it's got blue, it's got green. There's no purple, I'm now realizing, <laughs> but there is some pink and I think that this kind of is a great rainbow color for all of the characters. Um, but I love this pattern, I love it's really geometric and really cool. It's one of my favorite wallpapers, I think, that we used. Another feature to this room that I'm really proud of is that this door does actually work. And there's the rest of my sister's room. Uh, but the door does actually work and we hand drew just the normal front of the door. Um, and these are actual plastic windows, if you can see that. Now, as you can see, there is the doorway to go outside. There's the girls' bedroom, and there's one more doorway left over here, right there. That is where the boys' room is. So let me get the boys' set, and I'll put all three together so you can see it. Okay guys, so the entry room set, and the bedroom, and the boys' room, when you put them all together, it looks like this. I think these are the sets that uh, I'm most proud of. My sister and I worked really hard on them. And I think they turned out just the way we were imagining. So here are two walls from the boys' room. As you can see, it's got a red pattern and a little window there that my sister made. And this window actually has like actual plastic. I don't know if you can see that. Um, and they're obviously real. Uh, there's red on his uh, favorite beanbag chair. And usually I cover these in little accessories and whatnot. Globes, toys, random stuff. And on the wall here, there is a Avengers poster, which you guys were pointing out in the comments. I thought it was really funny you guys caught that. Um, but I think that this set's one of my favorites, and I really do like it. And as you can see, there's a lot of red and green tied together, because this is also Ricky's room, whose color scheme is green. So the green and the red, which are complementary colors, and they look really good together, um, all together in one room. And I thought that the Ninja Turtles worked really well with some green and red in there. And here's Ricky's little green chair and red beanbag chair. So that is the boys' room. Now, last but not least, you guys know that the Thompson family owns a wedding business, um, which is an idea that my sister and I came up with together to incorporate the bakery and the fashion shop and how they would work together. We thought, weddings, it's perfect. So as you guys know, they have a wedding business and there is a bakery and there is a fashion boutique. Uh, Harmony is kind of more in charge of the fashion boutique and Violet's more in charge of the bakery. Being the two oldest, they each have a shop, basically. So let me get those two sets for you guys and uh, show you all the little details. Okay guys, so here we are at the Thompson Bakery. As you guys can see, there are so many details on the counter full of little plastic cakes and uh, racer cake. Um, here we have a little Lego croissant, a little Barbie plate of cookies, um, just random, just random doll foods that we've collected over the years. This is a little gingerbread man that we actually made. Um, just a bunch of little cakes and stuff. On the back of the wall here, there's a little menu that me and my sister drew. The back wall is brown with white stripes, and the accent walls have these beautiful flowers all over them. And I think it looked pretty bakery-like to have those two colors next to each other. Okay guys, so here we are at the Thompson Wedding Boutique. I'd like to mention these aren't the floors I usually use, but regardless of that, this is what the set usually looks like and it's always full of wedding dresses and props like these. Okay, so for this set we have light blue flowered walls, there are two of them. Then there's a light blue and brown striped wall, 
and this kind of accent wall over here. Okay guys, so all the sets you just saw were made on cardboard and foam board uh, trifolds. Uh, the wallpaper is different kinds of scrapbook paper, and most of the props are either homemade or from different kinds of doll sets. Next I'm going to show you guys a little bit about my scripts, and then we're going to get into the actual filming. Okay guys, so the next thing I want to talk about are the scripts. So as you guys know, I write my scripts on my laptop and I print them off on paper so that as I'm going along, I can check off when I've done a line. So as you guys can see, each line is written in a different color, uh, one for each character, because they're all kind of the color of the rainbow. Um, and the scripts are written by both me and my sister, and she writes some and I write some. This one was like, like back and forth, like each section went back and forth and like wrote stuff. Um, we have a ton of fun writing together, and the whole plot and everything, we come up with everyone together because we want this to be a super collaborative process. Um, so these scripts are really something I'm quite proud of, and we like keeping them afterwards we can look back on what we've done. If you guys want to know more about the scripting process for me, um, or what I, how I check them off and match the lines and sync them up with the characters, um, in my other stop motion tutorial I did mention my scripting and how I compare it to the actual scene. So make sure you check out that at the end of the video. Um, if you're interested in any of that. behind-the-scenes stuff so if you guys are curious in seeing any more of this please comment down below because it's really easy for me to just show you guys the behind-the-scenes process because I film on different cameras anyways enough of that this video is long enough as it is um, thank you guys so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you all in the next video speaking bye of I wasn't ready <laughs> there will be a link to the first episode and other fun stuff at the end of this video so make sure you click on that and I think that's about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all, and I will see you all later. Bye. <laughs> He's so cute, though.